Hey everyone, Coach Nick, Coach Trina with Friction, and we're gonna give you a rundown of today's workout. Up first, your warm up. We have a 15 10 5 rep scheme. We are going to do Kang squats followed by med ball cleans. So Trina's gonna show us that. Up first is that Kang squat. So for this one, guys, it's a good morning, and then we're gonna swoop down into a squat and then reverse that. So we hinge first, back's nice and flat, low of the backside, and then swoop the hips down into that squat, reverse it back to that good morning, and stand. Perfect, just like that. So you hit 15 of those, and then you have 15 med ball cleans. So take the ball from the ground. You're gonna shrug your shoulders as you extend your hip. So you're gonna go down to the bottom position. You're gonna come up, extend the hips, shrug the shoulders, drop underneath, catch it, hit a squat, and stand. Then tap the ground and reset. Perfect. Uh, after you've done 15, 10, five of those, we have a minute per side in pigeon. So we'll drop down to the ground, uh, like into a lunge, but that front leg, we're actually gonna swoop down in front of us. Uh, that way we can hit the glutes and our hamstrings there, stretch that uh, hip area out. Uh, hit both sides there. And then finally, guys, a two minute uh, pike stretch. So for that pike stretch, guys, we're gonna lean down, uh, we're gonna sit down, legs are straight, toes are pointed. Uh, start with your knees slightly bent, that way you can round your back, stretch that out as well. And then throughout that two minutes, just straighten your legs out, get a good hamstring and back stretch there. Uh, perfect, so that'll conclude mobility. Now today's strength, we are gonna do a five by five on deadlift. We have a three second pause at the knees on the way up, as well as on the way down on every single rep with this one. Uh, big thing is we are climbing in weight, but um, our cap today is gonna be 225 and 155 for females as far as how heavy you can go. Um, so just remember that as you build up, uh, if you're like marking off increments, that's the heaviest set you'll do today. Uh, so do not go above that. Trina's gonna demo this one for us. So we have our uh, feet under our hips. We're gonna grab the bar just outside of our hips. We'll go down to that ground position. So for this one, the knees can start slightly bent. Her back's nice and flat. As she rises, she pushes her knees back gets those out of the way, loads up those hamstrings and glutes, and then she's just gonna pause for three seconds at the knees, finishes it, locks out, shoulders behind the bar, hips extended, goes back down to her knees, holds for three seconds, and then finishes that movement, taps the ground, one rep was right there, do that five times. Um, climb and weight, guys, you got plenty of room there. Uh, after that, uh, we're done with the barbell. Uh, we're gonna grab a either a you're either gonna run, row, or bike, and then you're going to do wall balls. So this is a 10 minute AM rep. You have a 400 meter run, uh, 500 meter row, or a 0.8 mile bike, followed by 15 wall balls at 20 and 14. Normal heights there at 10 feet and 9 feet. Uh, as far as scaling options, uh, life or uh, competitive and rec will be the same today. Uh, lifestyle, you're gonna cut the run in half, so it'll be 200 meters. 250 meter row or 0.4 miles on the bike. And you're gonna do 15 wall balls at 14 and 10, and then just reduce that height on the wall. Big thing on this one, guys, it is constant effort with that 10 minute AM rep. Your legs are gonna blow up, you're running, and you're doing the wall balls. Uh, so remember your arms and use them as much as you can on both movements. Help empower your run, as well as, you know, definitely rely on those on that push so you can save your legs a little bit. Aim for unbroken or no more than two sets, otherwise scale that wall ball down. Uh, Trina's gonna show us the movements real fast. Uh, so we're good on the cardio, guys. As far as the wall ball, you're gonna grab that wall ball, go about arm's length away from the ball, wall while holding that ball. And then we're just looking for a proper depth and a squat. So as you descend, your hip crease should reach below the top of your knees. You're gonna, as you squat up, um, so explode upwards, you wanna power that right into that ball. That's gonna go right into your press, hit the right target, sync that up, come right back down and finish that one out. Um, that's it for that. And then finally, guys, rent. you're gonna do a 30, 20, 10 rep scheme. We have banded pull apart. So if you grab a band, uh, your arms are straight out in front of you and you're gonna pull them all the way out to the side, hit all 30 there. And then when you're done with that, you're going to step into the band and you're gonna keep your elbows locked into the side and you're gonna hit banded bicep curls. So our elbows um, up, don't move. It's just your forearms. Uh, that way we really isolate that muscle. Go back and forth, guys, 30, 30, 20, 20, 10, 10, finish that out. Make sure you get your rent in. Uh, that is it for the day, guys. Um, we will see you tomorrow.